Legion, Season 1, Episode 5, Thoughts. This episode is called Chapter 5, another episode I love. Spoilers for everything X-Men leading up to and including this episode. The show is rated TVMA, so is this video. Let's dive right in. So, let's see. Yeah, uh, we see the um, David and Sid in the White Room together. And, yeah, you know, finally able to, to touch. And then the camera pans to the strawberries. Ugh, there's like maggots on them or something. Just ish. So, you know, clearly there is something dark behind this bliss. And let's see, then we have the... Um, yeah, um, they talk a little bit about Oliver, and yeah, Melanie says, you know, he was so powerful in there, and yeah, after a while, he only wanted to, or yeah, he, he spent more and more time inside this other place, and yeah, one day he just didn't wake up. You know, reminds me somewhat of Inception. Again, not in like... A, I'm not saying it ripped it off or anything. And... Let's see... Yeah, and, and you know, in... Yeah, Oliver did tell David, you know, if you go out there, if you leave this place, you know, the, the, de the devil with the yellow eyes might catch you, and yeah, that appears to be what happened. And see. Yeah, um the the Carrie's louder milk you know, share a body again now that the ah, what's the word? The um Yeah, now that she's recovered somewhat and yeah, really cool effect. Slightly obvious CG at the very end, but for a while, like, it really looks seamless. That, you know, yeah, one of them gets on top of the other, which is an uncomfortable thing to say about twins, and, you know, sink into each other. And, yeah, um, now that they can. David and Sid have sex, and yeah, um, they talk about their, you know, her first time, which, yeah, that's, um, that's a very uncomfortable story, and I don't, it's, yeah, it's one of those things where, you know, like, when we're young, we make mistakes. Where you know, she says, "I was curious," you know, and and you know, they seemed. It seemed like both she and the the guy liked each other. Yeah. So so you know, really messed up in multiple different ways. But the yeah. I, you know, I like flawed characters. And... Yeah, and, and she has that great line about, you know, who tells you how to be when you're one of a kind? Who, uh, who teaches us to be normal when we're one of a kind, that's it. And... Lenny makes another appearance, and, and you know, at this point, the audience knows, you know, Lenny and Devil with Yellow Eyes are just two different forms of the same being. And, yeah, you know, Lelo with Devil Eyes convinces David to, to go in by himself, which... You know, that works really well for Lelo with the Devil Eyes. And, you know, yeah, makes a compelling case. A 
and and I quite appreciate the the detail that Tonami points out. You know, I have a sister, I have a girlfriend, I have a mother, but I can't think about. I I can't put them above the war. And let's see. Then we have the. Right, the the yeah, the one thing that manages to get Tonami on board with going after David is he's too strong. He's too powerful if the if the division managed to turn him and then Tonami is all over it. And I really appreciate that we don't we, you know, we see a few clips once they start watching surveillance footage. But at first, we don't see what happened at D3. We just see, you know, which I, I have to assume comes right before E3. But the, yeah, um, the, the um, really, really nice, you know, production design and, and effects. You know, there's like a guy that's like partially. There's at least one. So there's a, yeah, there's probably multiple. I think I was just hyper focused on the one. But there's, I believe there's multiple. Where like there's you know an arm sticking out, a partial face, just yeah. And yeah, they find Doctor Kissinger, who David did not let out, which is another clue that, cause like you know yeah. David is maybe not, you know, Dr. Kissinger's biggest fan. There's a lot of people who, you know, kind of, they um, they don't really like their, you know, doctors for, for yeah, the, the, you know, if you have a mental health condition, your, your psychiatrist or psychologist can feel like they're the only one standing in the way of you getting out and that's just not true you know but it can seem like that but even so you know the idea that David would just leave him in there no clearly you know Lello with the devil eyes is behind this but then the, the Sid also doesn't let him out which kinda harsh like I it must be the fact that it's still dangerous there and they can't have a civilian with them on this mission you know they're they've got their game faces on and everything if this is you know a life or death situation it is technically safer for him to remain there i couldn't help but wonder if maybe the reason you know if maybe there was a thing about how like ah, what's the word um Maybe the eye had taken up the body of Dr. Kissinger and David could tell and left, but that does not... No, yeah, because the eye appears later and they still haven't let him out, so the eye must have been somewhere else. Oh, right, right, and the, yeah, um, really great exchange when... I'm going to have to jump slightly back here, but the the... Um, Sid points out, you know, ever since David came back, he hasn't seemed, you know, he's, he seems perfectly fine now. And Melanie points out, that's what worries me, which is a really great, because, because that's the thing, you know, if, again, if we're taking it back to mental health, yeah, um, if someone who's struggled with mental health, if from one day to the next, they seem like they're all better. That might, there's maybe something, you know, yeah, that's, that's actually, that doesn't mean you should be less, you know, that means you should especially make sure that there's not, that they can't do something that, you know, yeah, some self-harm or something. So, so yeah, that was a really great detail. And that's the thing, you know, Sid, you know, she's in love with David, she's young, she doesn't have this kind of, you know, she's not a doctor. Melanie, you know, older, she, she's seen how these, you know, she has more experience, more life experience. 
she knows that this can be a really bad sign. And let's see. Yeah, and in the in the surveillance video, you know, early on it just looks, oh, you know, look at how playful David is, but immediately, you know, we're like, would he really be like that? Because this, like, you know, obviously David would be happy to break out Amy, but outright playful, you know, that just, but yeah, you know, then we see, you know, one of the cameras has like a, a filter that, you know, that, yeah, reveals the supernatural, and we see, you know, it's Lello with the, with the devil eyes. And, yeah, and they find Brubaker, who, you know, just, yeah, lying there dying, and he says, it wears a human face, which, like, holy crap, you know, very, very intense. And I, I really love that, you know, so, so yeah, Melanie answers the communique from Carrie with a C, and they, they do it as an overlay, which, like, it, it seems like, yeah, it's like, it's actually, um, what's it called? Like, it projects. It's not just that she can see his face on the on the watch face. It's, you know, yeah. The, the carry face on the watch face. No, it's actually being projected so that everyone can see. Which, you know, very cool. Very, very like, futuristic sci-fi and the kind of thing you'd find in, in, for example, comic books. Yeah, just, that was that was a really great choice. And, yeah, he explains, you know, the devil with the yellow eyes is a parasite, you know, it's it's been leeching off David since he was very little, maybe since he was a baby, and, you know, we get that thing about, no, no, he is definitely a mutant, it's not, you know, it's not only mental illness, if he wasn't an extremely powerful mutant, this thing would have killed him long ago. And, yeah, the, you know, the devil with the yellow eyes is the one that makes, you know, makes people forget. I forget if I said this, maybe I said this in, in one of the earlier videos, I think the reason that Sid can see, even though, though the others can't, is because she temporarily swapped bodies with David, so she has some of his soul, his mind still in her, but without any of the Devil with the Yellow Eyes presence, because the Devil with the Yellow Eyes didn't come with, or I guess maybe it's like a trace amount of Devil with the Yellow Eyes came with. Not enough to make her not see it, not, yeah. And then David sings the, that, that Kermit song, which, yeah, wow. And the, the one about rainbows. And then we see the eye on the, on the tail of the, the team. And let's see. Yeah, um, Lenny, Lilo Eyes Devil, you know, approaches Amy and does indeed, you know, say the, the, yeah, you know, in all of these, yeah, across the different memories, you know, Devil with the Yellow Eyes has taken many forms. King, the angriest boy in the world, Lenny, I guess not Benny, because Philly met Benny, so Benny must be real. Just, yeah. Um, let's see, and, and then we get the thing about, you know, David was adopted, but Amy does not know by who. And, which makes me wonder if maybe maybe the devil with the yellow eyes is not only after David, but also his his parents, which 
could definitely, yeah, um, ah, what's the word? If it feeds on power, it might not be happy with just one. Maybe it has, you know, little yellow-eyed devil baby mouths to feed, who knows? And... Let's see... Yeah, um, Carrie with a C has made a, a thing that can isolate David and, and argues a lot with Carrie with a K about if that is, is what should. So I get, yeah, that was what they were doing when, when Carrie with a C was saying stuff like Alaska while David was in the machine, he was talking to Carrie with a K. Maybe Alaska was the answer to a question that she asked yeah some something like that and yeah you know he says there's not gonna be a fight and she says face it old man there's always a fight she's such a badass just I love it and and yeah Melanie points out I think we might be in David's world now <laughs> which yeah very very ominous lots of ominous moments in this episode I love it and then the the everything is rendered in silence really very effective bit and yeah um carrie with a k shows up carrie with a c shows up and melanie keeps arguing with him until eventually he relents and carrie with a k she comes out and she's got this massive club with like spikes. Yeah. She's ready for a fight. <laughs> Again, it's this thing of like some of the time she's like, oh, that's so cool. And then every so often, like, holy crap. You know, please do not come near me. And yeah, we see that Rudy is actually the eye in disguise. Love when the camera goes into the the mirror, and we you know we have a nice impossible shot because if you know if this was filmed the way it looks, then the camera would show up in the mirror reflection. But yeah, and I love when Sid shouts "White Room now," because that's you know that that's all she needs to say. David knows what that means. You know, it's not necessary to, you know, you should recreate the white room and take us there now. No, he knows what white room means. And and now implies urgency. There you go. That's all that's needed. And, yeah, she's... The, the, the yellow-eyed demon is coming right for her, and she can't seem to to get away from it, which also is, yeah, you know, now you're trapped in there. You're not, he's not trapped in there with you, you're trapped in there with him, and that's, yeah. And we end on um, Sid coming to, and they're all in group therapy, even the eye is there, which I quite appreciate. So yeah, everyone that was there has been brought into a new illusion. And, yeah, um, really excited to see where this goes next. Because certainly, you know, if, if Lello with the Devil Eyes can keep them all in there, that's, that's it. There's nothing they can do in there. So, yeah. Uh, MTV Trivia for this episode. David plays the banjo, sings part of the song Rainbow Connection, but he stops before singing some lyrics that directly describe the plot of the show and the manifestation of his conditioned powers. Have you been fast asleep? Have you heard voices? I've heard them calling my name. I've heard it too many times to ignore it. It's something that I'm supposed to be. So, very nicely done, because yeah, uh, you know, it's a song that, you know, a lot of us have heard as kids. So, you know, for, for years we knew all the lyrics. Yeah, you know, it, it goes in and it, it's, you know, gets to, you know, oh, yeah, the, oh, wait, doesn't the next part go like this? You know, so, yeah, very nicely done. Dan Stevens is really playing the banjo in this episode. 
Let's see. The yellow triangle on David's shirt when he's in Melanie's studio with Melanie and Sid could be a foreshadowing that it's really the man with yellow eyes who's now in charge. And let's see. Yeah, and and um, the yeah, really, really creepy when you know Lenny says such a pretty boy, and then you people started putting all these ideas in his head, you know, and they they mess with the voice to make her really, you know, yeah, this this very very threatening demonic voice, yeah. Um, really really excited to see so there's let's see there's three episodes left of the season we're more than halfway there yeah this is a really good time for them to really ratchet up the tension and yeah like it's gonna be really really difficult for them to get back out of the world that lello-eyed devil has created for them